Money? Money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Sorry! Have you ever loved something so much that you just want to cradle it and cuddle it forever? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now with this G Gundam Ultimate Edition from RightStuff.com. It is beautiful. Want to check out the other side? So classic. Now, for those of you that aren't 90s babies, you probably have no idea what the heck this show is. Well, let me tell you. It is one of the weirdest yet most interesting Gundam series of the Gundam franchise, and it is called Mobile Suit Gundam G Gundam. And it is a guilty pleasure. This came on, let's see, the last time I watched it, I was in elementary or middle school, somewhere around there. And it came on uh, Cartoon Network on the Toonami section and the afternoons. And I think they only showed it maybe twice, but they never showed it after that. And then the, uh, the DVD collections they had out, part one and part two, they are way too expensive for my blood. So that's why I never purchased it. But then they came out with this for the anniversary edition. And I had to buy it because this is my second favorite Gundam series. I mean, I have the manga right there. You know, it's right up there. It's one of my favorites. So as you can tell, I have not opened it. And do you know how hard it is not to open it when you get this for Christmas? I was like, oh, I want to I wanna open it, but I didn't. I didn't because I wanted to open it for you guys. So now, I'm not waiting any longer. Let's do it. All right, guys, so this is everything that you get inside of the Ultra Edition of G Gundam from the rightstuff.com. Um, it is a lot of stuff. You get the Blu-rays, you get this awesome book, 
you get the postcards, the patches, the shot, and you get this awesome lanyard. Um, but for those who don't know what that red ribbon was when I picked it up, I'll show you guys. Especially those who aren't familiar with the series. This is Domo's headband. <laughs> this is what he wears throughout the entire series. I mean, you can see it. Uh, well, not too much there. Uh, this one, right there. See it right in the center? Yeah, it's a cosplay item. So, uh, I say I look pretty dope. <laughs> Anyways, so what we're going to do, I'm not saying goodbye to you just yet. But I'm going to go ahead and watch a few of the episodes from here because it is an older anime, like in the 90s. I want to see if they upgraded anything, changed anything, whatever special features they have. So I'm going to watch a few of these, come right back, and give you guys a review of what I think of the whole entire set, okay? So be right back, guys. <sighs> All right, guys. I watched the first disc. I need some tequila for that. Okay, let's talk some positives. The story itself is still really entertaining and it's very captivating. Like it pulls you in and it's so good and there's so much action. And yes, it's a little over the top, but that's what made it so wonderful in the first place and very memorable. So yes, those are the positives. Great story, interesting characters, uh, pretty unique plot in a sense of like it's unlike any other Gundam series and the way that they control these Gundams and the way that they fight it's very different so let's talk about the negatives why is everything green and not just any green I'm talking this green okay Domo Kashu's shirt the long sleeve usually is like a very dark olive almost black it's this color I am not kidding. It's this color. Um, people who aren't supposed to have green hair, like the announcer has black hair, they gave him green hair. Green hair, green mustache. And then if it's not everything green, they made things pastels. Like Chibity no longer has his dark blue hair against the pink, you know, highlight. Now it's violet. Violet! <sighs> It just doesn't look right. What we loved about G Gundam was its grittiness and its dark universe and, you know, all of that. And so they tried to lighten it up a bit with adding this pastels and now neon green or whatever the color that is. And it just doesn't look right. I'll show you something. In the book, in the official art, they still kept them the same, right? Like, here's Domo's hair. They changed Domo's hair, by the way. It's no longer dark with, you know, shininess to it. Now it's all one color. Like, I believe that they picked up paint, you know, the editing system, and just poured one color, and that was it. Like, they didn't do extra steps to do shading. Like, it looks not black, but more like a gray with hints of blue. Sometimes it looks purple. Now, I watched this with my friend and my husband to get their opinions. And one of them said his hair looked purple. Another one said his hair looked dark blue. And me, it looked gray. So, out of all those three, none of them is black. His hair is supposed to be black. <laughs> and they changed it. It's no longer like this. Now, it's that weird color I was mentioning. And... Here's Chibity, right? He's supposed to have the royal blue. Now it's violet. Now, I tried to pull up some of the newer images. They don't have any because this is too new. But when it's you buy it, you'll definitely see the differences. Or maybe someone else will stream it, whatever. I don't, I don't know how to do that or have the capability or the software to do that. 
All I can say is try to look it up, find it somewhere so that way you could see the differences. Um, but that's my only complaint. But it's enough for me to pull me out of the story because it's so random. Like, they change people's hair colors, outfit colors, and it just looks weird. Like, the backgrounds, the painting, like, the way that they did the buildings, the atmosphere, it's all beautiful. And then you have this one-dimensional characters that have no shading, no nothing, and it's just bleh. It's just eh. I guess. So that's my only complaint. Now, would this make me not want to buy this series? Of course not, because I love G Gundam. I'm definitely going to finish this because the story, I was right up all in there. Like after episode six, I was like, I want more. I want to see more of Domo and I want to see more of Rain. I want him to go get his brother. <laughs> but other than that, like, the nostalgia in me awakened. The kid in me awakened. I watched this when I was, like, 10 or 11, which was, you know, a long time ago, like, well over a decade ago. Things I loved about this box set. I loved this art book. I loved seeing the new, you know, art on the covers. I loved my tequila glass. I loved the postcards. Like, they're pretty badass. Um... Uh, like even in here you can't even see the color changes. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. But yeah, if you're interested in patches, you get these pretty cool patches that you can add to things. Overall, it is a really good box set. What and I do own, you know, a few quite a few of them. So I would say this is one of the best box sets there are. However, Gundam Wing box set much better. The quality is much better in comparison to this one. But if you are a collector of older anime, if you are a huge fan of G Gundam, then yes, pick this up. You have to get it at Right Stuff. They are the best, and the way they packaged it, when it came into the mail, it's like they treated it like their own child. Like, it was perfect condition, all wrapped up, very taken care of. Um, and the customer service is great, and it's on sale right now. It's was regular price about 200 and something now it's 140 so I would definitely get it while you can before the price goes on up or somebody buys a mass quantity of them and tries to sell them on eBay for twice the amount so yeah definitely get it while you can I will leave a link in the description of you to pick this up now like I said if you've never seen this before, then of course the color changes aren't going to bother you. But someone like me who has watched it from the past and who was a fan of it for quite a while, I noticed it right away and it did upset me in the beginning, but I think over time I will get used to the changes kind of like with Viz when they got Sailor Moon and they changed all the voice actors. It, it took me quite a while to get used to not hearing Luna with the British accent because I was so stuck in the nostalgia of things. So I may have a better review on this, but I give this whole collection maybe a seven out of 10 because you get a lot of great stuff. And again, my only complaint is the colors, but other than that, everything else is awesome. But yeah, again, go ahead and pick this up on rightstuff.com. I will leave it in the description below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps us out guys. Like. I'm trying to get to at least a hundred subscribers so I can get my personalized URL. Okay, a girl is working really, really hard, so give me those subscribes. Okay, thank you, I appreciate it. But anyways, that is the end of this video. I will see you guys later. All right, bye guys. But then they never showed it again. So, when, when did she start sneezing? Oh wait, what am I doing? I, <laughs> I was so excited, <laughs> open it! <laughs> Damn it, Luna! This is great bloopers. <laughs>